Ok guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This is my second video And this video is for our class EPO361 Microcontroller System Chapter 5 Input Output Technique Input Output Programming actually For lesson outcome At the end of this class Students should be able to apply suitable PIC 16F8778 instruction That can operate the I.O. devices to perform intended tasks So what we are going to do is Basically we are going to program our PIC And run a simple simulation using LED Okay, to start the simulation, first we need to create a schematic diagram in Proteus or you just can open the previous file from our lab 1 session. We are going to use the same schematic diagram in this simulation. Okay, and for the software part, we are going to use Micro C Pro for PIC. So make sure you install this software in your laptop or, or in your PC and it is ready to use. Okay, before we start our programming, first we need to understand our schematic diagram. Okay, you have to identify the configuration used for the LED. Is it active high configuration or active low configuration? Okay, in my previous class, I've mentioned about active low configuration and active high configuration. So, based on these two options, which one is used in our schematic diagram? Okay, I believe the answer is active height configuration. So for active height configuration, to turn on the LED, we have to send signal 1 or logic height to the corresponding port or pin. Okay, and to turn off the LED, we have to send logic 0 or low signal to the that particular port. Okay, based on this information, what you have to do next is to tabulate DDR and DR table, then sketch a flowchart for the program, next write a program in Micro C Pro for PIC, then load the hex file into Proteus Schematic, and finally you can run the simulation. Okay, let's go for the first point, tabulate DDR and DR table, how do we do that? What is DDR and DR table? Okay, DDR is a short form stand for data direction register. It is a register used to set the port to become as an input or output port. If the port is connected to sensors or switches, so you have to set the port to become as an input port. But if the port is connected to the output component for example LED you have to set the the DDR for that particular port as an output port meanwhile for DR is a data re register it is a register where you can fetch the data from the input component or it is a place where you put the data to be sent out to the output each port has their own data direction register and data register. For example, port A, it has data direction register A. We call it DDRA and DRA, data register A. Okay, in our example, I'm using port B connected to the output component which is LED. Therefore, I'm using DDRB, Data Direction Register B and Data Register B. Since port B is connected to the output component which is LED, I have to set the DDRB as an output port. Therefore, I have to set every single pin to be logic 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. Okay, this means that every single pin in port B has been configured as an output port. This one. For DRB, I have to configure the DRB according to our project requirement. For example, 
I want to turn on all the LED simultaneously. So what I need to do is I have to set all the pin on the DRB according to LED configuration. Since we are using active height configuration, to turn on the LED, I have to set one at that particular pin. Okay. So to turn on the LED, I have to set it one, 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 and one. And to turn off the LED, I have to set it zero, 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 zero. So I make some modification here. Zero. LED off ok ok that's it for the first step next we go to the second step sketch flowchart for the program since this uh, example is a very simple example we just want to turn on the LED the flowchart also simple make sure your flowchart has start and end symbol and there is only two process here first initialize port b as an output so uh, we send uh, hex number zero zero where this uh, value come from it's coming from uh, ddr table zero and zero then to turn on the led we send port b hex number ff where this value come from it's come from uh, DRB table ok this is the uh, first F and this is the second F ok so we go to the next step step 3 write program in micro C pro for PIC ok this is micro C pro just click create new project give your project name any name for example my project name is PIC underscore LED for project folder, you can choose any folder to save your file. Device name, make sure you choose 16F877A, uh, the one that we use in our schematic diagram. For device clock, I put it here 20 MHz. Why? Because in our schematic diagram, there is a one component called crystal oscillator. So earlier, we set the frequency for crystal oscillator is 20 MHz so make sure in your software also set device clock 20 MHz then just click next to finish alright so this is the uh, interface for the programming part ok to begin our programming uh, we have to refer back to our uh, flowchart in our flowchart there is only two process here first initialize port B as output and then to turn on the LED we send uh, FF hex number FF so trace B equal to zero uh, hex number output ok where this value come from this value come from DDR table 0 0 and then to turn on the LED port B equal to hex number FF and where this value come from this value come from DRB F and F ok so make sure every line in C programming end with semicolon next ok click build just save your project build so if you receive a green messages here that means your coding is ok there is no error ok if we go to the save folder you will see a few file with the same name of your project but I'm interested in one file uh, with the extension of .hex because this is the file that we are going to upload into our Proteus simulation ok so how do we do that simple 
just click your Proteus file ok, double click on the device ok, processor clock frequency 20MHz equal to our coding and then choose the folder alright, so my file has been saved in online class here PIC LED dot hex this one ok, the same folder so just select the file click ok and then just run ok, the LED turn on ok stop the simulation ok, now if you want to modify your program the next process is simple ok, let's say I want to uh, turn on the LED for one second. Delay millisecond one thousand. Okay, and then all right to turn off the LED, I have to send zero. Okay, what you need to do is just click build. Ok, make sure green messages here And then if everything ok Then just click run again So, after 1 second The LED turn off Ok, let pause it again Stop it, ok Run again 1 second Ok, then turn off Ok, now I will go a little bit further Into programming part let's say I want to create a blinking LED here so what I need to do is just modify the existing program by using a program control structure in C programming in this case I'm using while instruction ok open bracket and close bracket so what uh, this instruction do is while instruction eh, uh, it will create infinite loop non-stop ok, it will execute port B it will turn on the LED and then delay for 1 second and then turn off the LED, delay and 1 second and then the process repeated again and again until you stop the simulation so let's see how it works just click build make sure uh, no error here ok, just click the simulation delay for 1 second ok ok, it's work let's say I want to make the blinking faster ok, just reduce the delay build again ok, no error stop the simulation and run again so, the blinking should be faster than the previous one ok, there you go ok, next let's learn C programming a little bit more let's say I don't want the LED blinking happen in infinite loop let's say I want the blinking happen only 5 times how am I going to do that? so we can use the Y instruction here just declare a simple variable int build ok and then while build less than 5 and every time build increment by 1 every loop ok let's see what's happening ok no error then simulate 1 2 3 4 and 5 then stop blinking ok or if you don't want to put additional instruction here you can put it here should not be a problem ok stop the simulation and run again 1, 2, 3 4 and 5, stop ok or if you don't want to use while instruction we can use for this is very interesting for build equal to 0 build less than 5 build plus plus 
ok compile the project no error stop the simulation run again 1 2 3 4 5 stop ok that's it for 4 let's say I want to make it uh, more interesting change the value here 0 F here F0 here ok compile what happened stop the simulation and run again see oh or if you don't want to use hex number you can use binary number should be a problem Z1010 1010 and here is binary number uh, 0101010101 build the project and run ok alright that's it ok and as for the exercise I want to make sure that everybody understand how your programming code works with Proteus simulation I want every each one of you write your own code and produce the output something like this Okay, everybody, and good luck.